Among all the planets in our solar system, aside from Earth, Mars is widely considered the most suitable candidate for human survival. But the real question is, is Mars truly habitable for us? Mars is one of the eight planets in the solar system. At its closest approach to Earth, the distance between the two planets is approximately 55 million kilometers, or about 34 million miles. Mars is relatively small in size, with a mass of only about 11% of Earth's mass, not 14%, as it is sometimes mistakenly stated. The planet's distinctive orange-red appearance comes from iron oxide, commonly known as rust, covering much of its surface. Mars is largely composed of sand and dust and lacks stable liquid surface water. Although Mars does have an atmosphere, it is extremely thin and composed primarily of carbon dioxide. Because the planet's gravity is much weaker, only about 38% of Earth's gravity, fine dust particles remain suspended in the air, resulting in frequent and massive dust storms. Compared to Earth, Mars is geologically more stable, with vast regions dominated by impact craters, canyons, and barren plains. Most notably, Mars is home to Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain in the entire solar system. Due to these conditions, if humanity hopes to one day colonize Mars, several major challenges must be addressed. First, gravity. Mars's gravity is far lower than Earth's, which could pose serious long-term health risks for humans. While some speculative theories suggest increasing Mars's mass to strengthen gravity, such technology remains far beyond our current capabilities. Second, the atmosphere. Mars's atmosphere is far too thin to support human life. Theoretical solutions include importing gases such as nitrogen or triggering volcanic activity to release trapped gases. A denser atmosphere would reduce harmful radiation, raise surface temperatures, and potentially melt underground ice, helping to address the planet's water shortage. Third, oxygen. One proposed approach is introducing microorganisms in plants capable of converting carbon dioxide into oxygen through photosynthesis. Over extremely long periods of time, this process could gradually increase oxygen levels in the atmosphere. During this transformation, a small number of humans would likely remain on Mars to oversee the terraforming process. This timeline would be extraordinarily long, and at present, no one can accurately predict how many centuries or even millennia it might take. Eventually, more people could travel to Mars, though most would initially be there for temporary work rather than permanent settlement. Only when a large population establishes itself on the planet would the transformation of Mars begin to accelerate. As human numbers grow, ecosystems could slowly develop, eventually forming a more complete planetary system. Achieving all of this will be incredibly difficult, but I believe that as science and technology continue to advance, Mars may one day truly become humanity's second home.